Get a bump master, watch out. And he turns this one around high and deep to Click center on. field. Schebler going back on it. <laughs> no, it looked like he had it, but it goes high. Throw won't get him. <laughs> Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys the first episode of MLB The Show 19, Failure Friday. Now, before we get into this, I would like to say that I did not get a whole lot of submissions, so all of them, except for one, are my own. So if you guys would like to see yourselves in a Failure Friday for MLB, make sure to submit them to MLB Failure Friday at Gmail. Dot com and as you can see by the first clip and just this whole gameplay which was against my friend Mike this itself could probably just be a failure Friday this whole game we could probably turn into a failure Friday uh, video so just by getting clips from this one but uh of course I want this to be sorry I'm just watching it while recording voiceover <laughs> I'm sorry all right it's just been non-stop like <laughs> disaster it could have gotten me over there at third but whatever anyway let's go ahead and take a look at our first submission all right so this first clip actually happened in my road to the show uh with dorsal fin and take a look at this i didn't even mean for this to happen but ground ball to second base and i just kept going and i didn't even slide and it ended up working out for me as if i didn't I probably would not have scored here so I thought that was a pretty funny clip to include here all right so this is actually the only fan submission that we have for this video and this guy is not very happy with how his player ended up getting uh, picked off from first take a look at this bro they, they literally call me out on this how is that freaking how is that possible I probably would have had the same reaction too to that because it's like how does he just quickly get there and dive to get him and he I I did watch it in slow motion and he definitely did look out but just barely it it sucks that, like how often you get ripped off when getting I mean I know that wasn't a pick off but it's just like it seems going back to first in any way never ends up working out in your favor if you're the base runner like i'm constantly getting picked off at first base if i just have a lead of one step i'm most likely going to get picked off it seems especially if i'm stealing all right so this next clip is a little strange and i'm not sure how the out was gotten but it's also kind of funny but this is when i was playing with my friend mike uh we were just doing a regular play now game against each other he was the phillies and i was the Astros, if I can remember correctly. Um, actually, this, it might have been the other way around, but I'm not. I'm not 100% sure uh, who was who. But take a look at this. So Cesar ends up keep going, and Williams actually goes back. Hernandez ends up getting to the base in time. However, he is ruled out, and I would assume it's because he ended up passing Williams. But I just thought that was weird that. Hernandez was able to keep going, but he was ruled out at second. So I'm assuming that Williams was just, he got to keep, he got to stay in. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just thought that was a pretty odd play. All right. I just thought this was a complete fail for Paul Goldschmidt over at uh, first base. So in this next clip, you're going to see I'm playing my Phillies franchise. And of course, I'm the Phillies taking on the Cardinals and watch this hit. So, we got the pitch coming in now, all right? So, we're going to get a broken bat. All right, it looks like I think it was Eflin that hit it. And Goldschmidt, for some reason, decides to dive. I'm not sure why, but he does. So, Eflin gets himself an easy single to run scores. I don't know why he dove for it. I would have just let it hit the ground and then get the out at first. So, yeah, I'm really not quite sure why he thought that was the best thing to do. But the AI can be very mysterious at times. Alrighty guys, so this is the last clip I have in this one and this is the thumbnail from this video again This is one of my clips from my Phillies franchise mode and definitely a very odd play and a Very nice catch though at the same time. So take a look at this. So this one's hit well to right Harper giving chase reaches into the stands makes the catch yet he's through this woman 
and he's also through the fence. So he's got his leg through the concrete and the wall, yet he managed to go through the wall and through this woman to make the catch. I just thought that was pretty funny. Like, excuse me, madam, I just need to reach in here and make the catch. Although I do love that he was actually able to reach over the wall at that point to make the catch. I mean, look at his leg right there. I mean, it's clearly sunken into the concrete over there. So I thought that was, you know, pretty funny. I had to share that with you guys. But, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, that's really all I have for you guys. I mean, I don't know how long it was going to be until I had enough submissions to do a full, you know, at least 10-minute video for uh, Failure Friday. But I want to get this series started, and maybe by starting it, we would get more clips. But for now, I'm going to be a little lenient. So if you have older MLB The Show clips, it's fine. Of course, I prefer 19. But if you have some from 18, maybe even 17, I'll let it slide. But only because we, you know... I, we don't really have any clips getting submitted right now. So once they start coming in, you know, really quick, then I'll probably just narrow it back down to 19 only. But I thought maybe by doing the first episode, maybe we would start to get some submissions. So hoping for the best. But if you guys have any, make sure to submit them to MLB Failure Friday at gmail.com. One more thing, guys, I forgot to mention. I am hoping to unbox these 10 Bowman Mega Boxes. Uh, I don't know if I want to live stream them on Twitch and then upload it to YouTube as a premiere or just do a live stream on YouTube. I'm not too sure which one I'm going to do, but uh, but I really would like to um, to open them up for you guys. I mean, it did cost roughly $200. It was kind of a graduation gift to myself. So uh, I really wanted to you know break open some boxes. So if you guys would like to see this, Please let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll announce some kind of stream time or something. Uh, as of now, I'm thinking about doing Twitch and then uploading it on YouTube. That's kind of what I'm going with at this point. So if you guys want to see them, make sure to uh, let me know in the comments. But guys, that is going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and get your submissions in. You never know. One of your, uh, one of your clips or even pictures may be good enough to get into Failure Friday. But thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.